We love sharing stories of courage and joy in our American Snapshot series, only seen here on Morning in America. Today, we are introducing you to U.S. Navy Rear Admiral and current CEO of the Naval Aviation Museum Foundation, Kyle Kozad. After years of serving, Kyle's life changed forever on March 16, 2018, when he was injured on duty. He slipped, landing flat on his back, crushing two vertebrae, and has been in a wheelchair ever since. But that did not stop him from being a leader. It motivated him to give back even more and make a positive difference for others. He reflects on his overcoming, on overcoming his battles in his new book, Relentless Positivity, a common veteran battling uncommon odds. And he also shares career-defining moments, such as his roles as the Navy's senior leader in the White House Situation Room during the Osama bin Laden raid. Admiral Kyle Kozad joins me now. Good morning, Admiral. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. It's so great to be with you. Am I getting your last name right, Kozad? Spot on perfect. Thank you. Thank goodness. There's no better way to disrespect a serviceman or woman than mispronouncing their name. So we're off to a good start here. Speaking of starts, how did you get your start in the Navy? What made you want to serve our country? So uh, I, I was from Las Vegas, Nevada, just a skinny, skinny basketball player with a, a desire to fly Navy airplanes. And that led me to the United States Naval Academy. And uh, um, although my uh, basketball career didn't work out, uh, they talk about a lot of people uh, getting hurt who were, uh, you know, Division One college athletes and medically retiring. I was academically retired. So I struggled in the classroom and decided that I need to focus on the grades. And uh, four years later, I ended up in Pensacola, Florida, to start my flight training journey. It's funny that a kid from the desert joins the Navy, but I wonder if you grew up near Nellis and decided you wanted to fly planes and figured out the Navy did a lot of flying. That's exactly what happened. I, <laughs> I uh, had a neighbor who was an F-15 uh, commander, uh, and he took me in one day, and I knew that's exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, and so, uh, you know, it, that led to my decision to go to the Naval Academy. Part of that was a rebellious teenager uh, who wanted to get as far away from home as he could, uh, not out of spite, but just out of adventure. Now, tell us more about what it was like to be in the situation during the Osama bin Laden raid. That is incredible. There had to be like less than 20 people in that room that know how it was going. So what was your perspective on that? Yeah, so, um, you know, my role primarily, and at the time I was the deputy, uh, was uh, just to provide support. So, uh, you know, we, we prepped for every meeting. We were able to uh, make sure it was secure. It was one of the most... Um, uh, quietly and best held secrets uh, in the entire West Wing as they, they prepped for that. And, you know, as the event got closer and, uh, you know, the uh, iconic picture of the Air Force General uh, in the very small room setting up for that, you know, we knew it was going to be a big night. Uh, but, uh, boy, you just you didn't know and you didn't really understand what the impact to the world would be uh, just from, you know, those hours of preparation. So your book is Relentless Positivity. It's recommended for anyone facing personal adversity in their lives. You face personal adversity of, of becoming paralyzed from the waist down and overcoming odds since that spinal cord injury. How have you been able to maintain relentless positivity and continue to succeed despite that major injury? Yeah, for, for me, you know, kind of three elements that have motivated me, certainly my faith, uh, my family. I never want to let down my family. As a matter of fact, I've got a son who's a, another Navy pilot, and he was he was with me in the hospital three days after the injury. Uh, and despite the doctor's uh, prognosis to my wife and I that I'd never get out of a wheelchair again, um, my wife told him, you go do your deployment, and in seven months when you get home, you know, you be safe. I'll take care of your dad. And when uh, you land back at NAS Jacksonville, Florida, he's going to walk out to see you. So um, certainly no greater motivation than a mom's promise to her son. Uh, and sure enough, seven months later when he returned, uh, despite what the doctor told me I would be able to do and wouldn't be able to do, uh, I was able to walk about 75 yards across that ramp and give him a big welcome home hug. That is just amazing. That is Kyle Kozad. He's a former Rear Admiral with the uh, U.S. Navy. His book is Relentless Positivity, A Common Veteran Battling Uncommon Odds. Thank you for your service. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Happy Thanksgiving and uh, Black Friday to everybody. Go pre-order your book now. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.